find and a scan. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Berry coal. Coal. Okay. Warm. Nice. We're getting closer. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. Today, we're going to be using Figma to create this cool spotlight animation to add some fun and mystery to your website. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first let's create a frame. I'll press F. Look for MacBook Pro 14. I'll change this to home. Then we're going to look for a background. For that, I will use Unsplash. Highly recommend it. And here, let's look for something spooky. So I'll look for Ali and i'll choose this one now let's add a layer a dark layer on top of it and i will change this from 20 to 50. there you go now let's create our header real quick i already have some components saved so i will look for logo i'll put it here and then again shift i then cta sorry cta select my button here now i also have the menu items so menu item then i'll put these two under an auto layout i will change the spacing to zero then duplicate this one and this menu item will be support and this one will be about now let's put these two under an auto layout and now let's expand this to the border of our home frame. Put it here on top. Then let's change this to space between, add some margins, number 50. And of course, let's add some padding. Let's move these to 30. Cool. Oh. Okay, now we have our background, the layer on top, and the header. Now let's add our main text and the other components that go underneath our, our spotlight layer. So for our main text, and I will want this to be 140. And I want this to be semi-bold. And the text will say fine and scan. And I can make it a little closer, something like that and I want it to align to the logo. Okay, now let's add the other component that say very cold, cold, warm, and then the QR code. For the very cold, I want this to be 46, and this will be medium, and it will say very cold. And I want to add like a, like a cold color, so it will be this light blue. And let's look for an emoji. And for the emoji, I will look for Figmoji, another plugin that I also recommend. And let's use this one. Let's put these two under an auto layout. Let's move this here, center. And I can make this a little bigger. Cool. And let's put it around here. Okay, let's duplicate this one. Change this to gold. Sorry, and I will make it smaller. I will press K and make it a little smaller, something like this. Now let's duplicate this one again and let's change this to warm. Let's look for a warmer color. We'll select and I have this orange here and then I recommend you to select the component before looking for Figmoji, otherwise you will paste the, the, the emoji anywhere. So I will select this one and we'll move it here and delete this one. And I will make it a little bigger, something like this, okay. And now we need our QR code and I already have that component, so I will press Shift I and here we have my QR code. I highly recommend scanning the QR code. It will take you to the absolute best YouTube channel. Then again, I want another CTA. Put it here. And this will be scan me. 
Let's put these two guys under an auto layout. Let's make this instead of hog fill container. And here we go. So we have all the components that you probably already knew how to make. So now let's focus on the fun part that is the spotlight layer. But before doing that, you need to go to the bottom of this video. And if you're finding this helpful, please like it because it really helps for the YouTube algorithm and it will only take you a couple of seconds. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so the first thing we need for our spotlight layer is a gigantic rectangle. So we press R and we create a big rectangle. It should be way bigger than our home frame. So let's keep it something like this. Then I need to create a circle. So I'll press O and create the circle. Don't worry about the exact size of these two elements right now because you're gonna, we, we're going to adjust them later. So, but we need to center them both. So I select both and then I come here and center. Now I need to select them again, come here to this icon and change these two exclude selection. And that will make a hole in our rectangle. And now I can change this to black. But if I keep the layer like this, the spotlight effect will be like very sharp. It will not have that gradient effect. So to get that gradient, let's come here to our exclude selection and duplicate our circle, pressing Command D. And then I will move this new circle outside of our exclude layer. Then I will select this circle, come here to fill, change this to black and from solid to ra radial. And I will change this, I want the transparent part in the middle to something like this. And now I need to select all of these two elements, the new circle and my exclude layer. And I will put these two under a frame. And then before adjusting the frame, I will select again these two elements and center because I want to keep them in the center after after adjusting the frame and the new frame should have the size of my home page. So it will be something like this and then let's make it like this and then adjust the size once we put it inside. So we move this inside and Let's align it here and now we can adjust the final size to something like this. Cool. Now I need to rearrange the elements. So I have the header on top. Let's move this on top. Then the text also goes on top. Cool. And I'll change the name of this layer to a spotlight. And the final step is to select my spotlight layer, go to prototype and change this to horizontal and vertical scrolling. And now let's see how it looks. I'll select this, go to prototype. So now we have our spotlight effect already working, but if I go to the extremes of the, of the screen, I, you can see the border of a rectangle and that's where we're going to adjust the size of the rectangle and also feel that our circle is a little too small. So now we can adjust that part too. I'll go back to here. I will choose my, my home frame and I'll unclip selection. And to adjust the size, just make sure that you select the component, in this case a rectangle. And to keep it center, I will press option and adjust the size like this. So I will keep it center. And then I will select my two circles and I will press option shift to keep both center and make it bigger. Something like this. Cool. Now I will select home again, clip content and prototype. And it looks great. Now we don't have the border of our screen anymore and our circle looks great. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn other tricks in Figma, like how to make an amazing carousel or a loading animation, subscribe to my channel and see you on my next tutorial. Bye bye.